We started Root at four, four years ago as a research project at Harvard University when we were just passionate about how to solve the, co the coding problem that exists in the classroom and how to utilize the technology of driving on uh, whiteboards and the interface that we developed doing our research of how to make coding accessible and grow from it. We got a worldwide licensing agreement from Harvard University on all the IP around Root, and we're commercializing Root now and launching at uh, CES so that people could buy robots at codewithroot.com and shipping in June. And what's special about Root is we built a robot around this idea of learning to code with robots, but what we're embracing is drawing, and you can do things like hold a marker, drop and erase, a drop and eraser and erase markers, you can color scan, you can bump off of things, it has capacitive touch points on the top and light sensors in the eyes. But we designed Root to start really, really simple and go to really, really complex things. So if you do a, a simple activity, like you know, um, using the tactile part of the touching the top of the robot to navigate, you, here's an example of level one, where you have a level one interface where it's all touch and play, where you, you look at the code, you have these events and actions connected, and when you touch on the top right of the robot, for instance, we'll have it light up green and play these different music notes. When we touch on a different zone, like the back left, it'll light up blue and it'll rotate. We can edit these. Everything is touch and play. So we made the interface so that you don't even have to know how to read. So you can be four years old and be coding with the robot without any issues. So let me show you a program that we have in level one. When I hit play, the robot turns yellow. And when you do these different commands of whether you touch on the top or bump the different spots, you can control the different commands that the robot does. So this is a game activity where kids can put vinyl clings on a fold-out whiteboard that comes in the box with Root. They place Root where they want to start on a play, and then they can touch to get to a goal. Like we'll try to get from here to the home screen. So if I touch the top left, Root will drive forward. And then turn left, turn left, go straight, turn right, go straight. You can play a little bit of music here, and then go home. So this is, a, this is an activity where you can have replay value. Kids can pick up the clings, try again, and challenge themselves. And you can start removing the, the clings and then start challenging yourself to how do I code that activity instead of touch bot through it. And that forces sequencing and planning to step. So like this is, you, can, you can learn uh, the functions and loops using what we call boomerangs, so go to events. You can uh, call an event on itself to have a repeating loop. You can control the color sensors on the robot by tip tapping different zones and control the color sensors that are on the bottom. You can lift and drop the marker. So here's a, here's a lift and drop marker command, or lift and drop an eraser. So what we did was put a lot of things in the platform. So even at level one, you can do interesting things with the robot. Like a crowd pleaser is, here's an example of tilt drive. This is a program that when I tilt the rope, when I, oh, it's, a, it, it's avoiding black. You see it bounced off of it. But when I, uh, when I tilt the, uh, the robot to the left, it'll drive left. If I go to the right, it goes straight. If I go straight, so I made myself a little steering wheel, but it's coded that when the robot sees black, it bounces off of it. And it's doing that behavior because that's what we coded. So even in level one, kids beyond four, up to eight, 10, 11, 12 can be having fun with this. So this is our level one interface, but when you get beyond the controls of the graphical environment, you can move to level two which is more about computational fluency and accuracy of your code. So if you wanted the robot to, when you bump it and turn yellow, if you wanted it to rotate you know, 90 degrees, and then you wanted to change that 90 degrees to a different value, or even enter it numerically, here units matter, reading matters. It's more about advanced computational fluency of coding. And then you get to level three, which is a text environment. But unlike other text environments, which we're making text approachable. This is Swift code. The robot is, has the syntax that's receiving of exact Swift code, and you're using the same um, experiences that you have from earlier levels to get yourself extremely comfortable. So that's the interface, the one, two, three interface of root. Yeah, so in level two, why don't we show the app. We have a new interface where you're increasing the complexity of what you do with the robot. So here, we are 
weight, we're dropping our marker and we're repeating this loop 20 times. We're driving four 12 centimeters. We rotate by 140 degrees. We're gonna do that 20 times, then we're gonna pick up the marker and reveal our drawing. But we can do things like, oh, oh, well 20 is a little much, so let's just clear that and change it to eight. When we hit play, we can follow along on the commands. So now Root's dropping the pen, and it's gonna start drawing that shape. So if you wanted to draw like your favorite um, cartoon character, or what my kids have done is uh, they've coded Root to draw their names, and then they brought it into school and stuck it on the whiteboard and had that drop the mic moment. So with Root, it's really about creativity, and it's really about exploring kind of this relationship between art and robotics and STEM and coding and problem solving. Yeah, so at level three, let's look. If we want to see this actual, let's see this exact same experience operate in level two and three. So I'm going to take this program that we already made, I'm going to hit level three, and it converted that code into Swift code. So if I hit this play button, watch this, it's going to do that same experience. And we're following along real Swift code, and we're learning syntax and understanding behaviors and, um, and functions, just like you would as a, a professional Swift user. And then beyond level three, when you're ready to code with root from a computer, you hit export, and you can continue coding from a platform of choice. This is our build tray that's going to be released later this year. You can put it flat on a table, you can build your uh, materials off of it, and it magnetically attaches to root. No clicking in required, you want to take it off, you take it off, and it really lets you personalize your experiences.